Yo, what is going on, guys? This is about the third time I've recorded this video. I actually streamed it on accident instead of recording. I'm using OBS, but uh, let's get right into it. Super Bowl 49. Today is the damn day. It's going to happen. It's going to be the Patriots versus the Seahawks, and I'm here with an unbiased opinion because I am a Redskins fan. I am not actually a Seahawks or Patriots fan. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to give you an actual prediction, but, but I'm going to tell you why I think that both teams won it bad enough that they're going to play like this is it. Um, we'll start out with the Patriots. For one, if Tom Brady wins this Super Bowl, he will solidify, no question, there will be no question on whether he is in the talks for one of the greatest quarterbacks ever. Because... The two quarterbacks with the most rings right now, Joe Montana, and a lot of people like to forget Terry Bradshaw both have four rings, and if Tom Brady wins, he will have four rings also. What he will have that neither one of those other guys have is six Super Bowl appearances. So if that doesn't put him in, in the, in the like solidify his spot in the talks for greatest quarterback of all time, I don't know what will. Um... So I think that Tom is really, really, really going to try and win this game. Because he's getting up there in his career. We don't know how much longer he'll be playing. He says he'll play till he can't play no more. But uh, it'd be sad to see him go, but at the same time, if he won, wouldn't it be great to see him go out on top with the Super Bowl win? You know, just right after the game, just, hey, I've done everything that I wanted to do in the NFL. I'm out. Like... Most players don't go out on top. They, they stay an extra two or three, four years and, and do some lackluster things. The only player I can think of off the top of my head was Barry Sanders that completely went out on top. He actually probably went out a little too early, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's, let's move on. Another, another Patriot would be Gronkowski. Uh, he's been battling injuries for a few years. For him to be able to, to slap a ring on this year would be a great, great thing for him. So, um... Let's move on. Let's move on to the Seahawks. Now, Russell Wilson is in his third year in the NFL and has the possibility to have two rings in three years. That is an amazing feat. Um, also, you know, so I think I think I think that that's why he will be out there trying his hardest to win a Super Bowl because I mean. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. I mean, and also with like the Legion of Boom, look, back to back Super Bowls is a big thing for any any team. Um, you can look up the stats. I forget. I think there's been, I don't even know how many teams. A couple teams in like 20 years to ever to ever do that. Uh, but anyways, Marshawn Lynch. I would be really really happy if they won the Super Bowl because I think that Marshawn Lynch has got a bad rap all year. For one. He held out at the beginning of the year wanting more money, feeling he deserved it, and the Seahawks denied that, um, basically shut him down, said they weren't going to be doing any kind of renegotiation before the season. Then all the rumors started flying about how he was bad in the locker room, about how Seattle was going to get rid of him, it was going to be his last year in Seattle. Uh, then, you know, he had the big thing with not wanting him to talk to the press, and, you know, getting all those fines for that a lot of uh a lot of fans that don't understand that he's just being himself and being completely real uh thought he was being disrespectful by not giving the information to the media uh, a lot of people started siding with him though that was the good the good outcome of all of that his teammates all had his back his coach had his back uh a lot of fans sided with him and said hey you know i'd rather him be real and honest than be fake and just give us these dry answers or whatever um, but here's the thing. Just this morning, uh, the Seahawks have reportedly, Ian Rappaport has said that the Seahawks have offered him a huge contract extension and that he would become the second highest paid running back in the, in the NFL right now, right behind Adrian Peterson, which, not to knock uh, Adrian Peterson or Marshawn Lynch on this, but the way that they've devalued the running back position that, that is the, one of the main reasons why I think that they wouldn't offer Marshawn more money than what they offered Adrian Peterson. Uh, he got lucky, not to say he doesn't deserve that kind of money, but he had got lucky at the time that he got that contract. Because, like I said, now 
they're they're devaluing the running back position. But I just want to put out there for anyone who believes that you know it's all about one type of. This is why I don't believe in devaluing positions. I think you should go by what that player does in the position he is in because. They valued the quarterback and the uh, wide receivers a lot higher than the running backs lately. And they've started chunking into those contracts, making running back contracts smaller and smaller. Uh, when you look at someone like DeMarco Murray, that they're not really wanting to offer a lot of money, even though he was the backbone of the Cowboys. Him and that offensive line were the backbone of the Cowboys. Um, and I'm and I'm going to end this. I don't want to make this a huge long video, but but let me get back to Marshawn Lynch before I end it. Um, Marshawn Lynch is the backbone of the Seattle Seahawks. Yes, they have an amazing defense. Yes, Russell Wilson's great. Um, they have a few wide receivers. I, I don't even know off the top of my head. I know a couple of them's names, but but no real huge standout wide receivers. But but when it comes down to it, the Seattle Seahawks identity to me personally is Marshawn Lynch he to me he's the backbone the face of the team um he gets out there every week and does his job and he deserves every penny that he gets and that is why I would like to see the Seahawks win uh backtracking real quick Tom Brady getting a fourth ring and uh hopefully going out on top would be the reason that I would love to see the Patriots win and that's all I got for you guys. Leave me your comments and thoughts below. And um, tell me who you think is going to win. I'm out, Pete.